Hi, I'm Lyman Orton, and along with my three sons, proprietors of the Vermont Country Store, which my dad opened in 1946 when I was five, so I literally grew up with the business. It's jam full of thousands of products, practical and hard to find, and also hundreds of old antiques hanging from the ceiling and the rafters. When you come into our store, look up at the ceiling and you'll see 30 or 40 old flexible flyer sleds that I collected back in the 80s. Some hold four people. One of them is my old one, held me alone. My mother forbid us to ride on the roads with the sleds, but we did it anyway. Back in those days, they didn't salt or sand the roads, and the only hazard were cars. I'm holding a lithograph of a Chase and Sanborn coffee ad showing the old country store with the storekeeper in the background and the old timers sitting around the stove. And my father saw this during the Second World War and it reminded him of growing up in his father's store in North Callis, Vermont. And he decided to come back to Vermont, put out a catalog and open the Vermont country store. Here's our pot stove. When I was 16, my dad had me go up to Rutland and pick it up out of the Rutland Railroad Station, which was about to be demolished to make way for the Kmart, and now there's a Walmart there. Every country store has to have a pot stove. Ours, as you'll notice, is called the Station Jewel, and it sure is a beauty. Here's our old, beautiful Enterprise Coffee Grinder made in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania in the 1890s. Beautifully decorated. We used to actually use this in the store to grind the coffee. I remember my grandfather grinding it and I would pull the drawer out at the bottom full of aromic, beautiful ground coffee. Here's our old fashioned peep show, G-rated, which I remember as a kid growing up. I had to stand on a box to reach it. You put in a penny, turn the crank, you make it go as fast as you want and the um, uh, pictures flip by. This one shows uh, a guy and a gal coming into the parlor and he's giving her a kiss. And then the father comes down and shoes her upstairs and kicks his butt out the front door. It's a heck of a lot of fun. And the official name of this is actually a mutoscope. Here's an old fashioned school slate with felt around the edge. That was to dampen the sound of the slate pencil on the slate in the schoolrooms so you wouldn't hear the scratching noise. When I was young, we actually used these slates to add up the products for the customers. So I became a whiz at addition. When customers would question a young boy as to his addition, I'd simply turn the slate around and say, check it out and see if it's okay. Back in the 70s, I used to go around to flea markets and buy old toasters. We have every conceivable kind of chrome old-fashioned toaster. Some of them are the flip-up kind where you really had to watch them. You'd burn the toast to no end. Here's our beautiful polyphone that I bought at a Vermont auction, but it was made in Leipzig, Germany. I used to take a coin, but it's free now for everyone. Large metal disc for each song, sort of the original CD player. Crank it up, put the disc in, and let her play, and it gives forth beautiful music. We call ourselves the purveyors of the practical and hard to find. And our motto is, we sell products that don't come back to customers who do. One of the most frequent comments I hear customers make in the store is, I didn't know they still made that. So come on up and see us and see if you can find some things that you didn't know were still made. It'll surprise and delight you.